Falls are back and we're very pleased to be joined from the booth by Mets starter Jacob DeGrom. Jake, it looks like sometimes there's there are good nights to pitch and bad nights to pitch. It looks like you chose the right one last night. Yeah, I think so. Uh, ball's kind of jumping here tonight. Bruce Grounds went into the shift and Castro throws him out. You know, Jacob, I was uh, commenting last night. I don't know how you feel about it, but I felt like your changeup um, it was Santana-like the the arm action you had last night. Yeah, I think that was uh, one of the main things I've been working on. Um, like I said early on, my mechanics, I was kind of flying open, so everything was flat in the zone and didn't really have that down movement. Um, and I feel like last year I was more on top of the baseball, so that's what I was trying to get back to earlier this year. And, you know, it took me a little longer than I wanted to, but um, I really notice it the most on that changeup whenever I throw it. And it has that, you know, same arm speed as my fastball with good down movement. James Long is the batter, and he lines one into center field to base it. So Loney is two for two and it gets by Ellsbury and goes behind him and Loney will go to second base on the air. Boy, is this a full moon out today or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Let that ball play him. Yep. Very misplayed that badly. So Jacob when you think about the trajectory of your season so far and think about where you were at the beginning and, and, and now just you know watching it from up here it looks as though you've hit your stride does it feel that way to you that that the season has progressed in, in that kind of way and, and why do you feel that is. Yeah I think so. Um, you know like I said early on I kind of struggle with my mechanics. Um, in pitching that late you know that's the first time I've done anything like that so uh, it kind of altered my uh, off season workout um, with my throwing so it, it took a little extra time off and I don't think I was as prepared as I probably should have been going into spring training but I feel like I needed that break at the same time and you know I had a good start like start against Philly I still feel like I was flying open a little bit I was just able to my two seam was good that day and I stuck with that in my last two I feel like that's the most on track I've been all year. Uh, Jacob you, you had some you had a lat issue in spring is that all behind you now you have is it in the back of your head have you had any discomfort um, you know I I think I uh, I think it was after my first starts when I really felt it um, you know it kind of did hang around for a little bit but um, I think that was kind of the reason I wasn't getting as good of uh, extension as I wanted to and I think that kind of started the flying open and not really staying on top of the baseball so I think that's behind me now and um, you know these past two that's the best I've felt all year. You know Jacob we always talk about pitchers when they have to go to third or fourth time through the lineup. Well you're in your third year in the major leagues and sometimes you have to make changes when you're facing these lineups over and over again. Have you made some? Yeah I think you know that there's a lot more video on you the longer you're here and uh, you know I think it works both ways so I've been trying to do my homework and stay on top of that and watching video and um, kind of just uh, seeing how I got guys out and you know what they hit and, and coming up with a good game plan before the game. When you watch that video what's the most revealing thing to you is it about the hitters responses or is it about how you you operate and your sequences what's the most important thing you watch. Um, I think both you know kind of what guys are, are squaring up on me or you know kind of location what they're hitting well. Um, you know there's been times where I've watched. Um, other guys uh, watch Julio um, Tarana the Braves a couple times uh, if he's faced the team before me just kind of what he did to get those guys out th uh, this year. So you know I watch video on myself and video of other guys and kind of what they do and you know try to come up with a game plan with Dan and uh, Travis or uh, Renee whoever's behind the plate. You know Jacob um, when you first come up to the major leagues you try to develop a process in between starts and then you start to get to a point where you can repeat it every you know every fifth day. Have you changed your process since you first came to the major leagues a couple seasons ago? And, and what have you changed? Yeah, I would think so. Um, you know, that's I think what's the good thing about having a routine uh, as a starter. You stick with it whether you're pitching good or bad. Um, and I think that's what's helped me out a lot, uh, being able to come up with that routine that works for me um, and being able to stick with it. And I think before the Colorado start, um, I mixed in an extra bullpen. Uh, you know, but I threw two that were really light, but um, I like to throw in tennis shoes whenever things are going bad mm. just so um, I, I land a little softer and, and I can't stride out too far and get underneath the baseball. 
You know uh, Ronnie asked about preparation for starts. Uh, all of us have been dads and you're a dad for the first time now and having a baby at home when when it's the night before your start as having had a baby at home changed how you prepare. Uh, it actually hasn't. Uh, you know Jackson's been very good at uh, uh, sleeping through the night um, and Stacy's been very good at it. Uh, you know if he does wake up to let me get the rest that I need so um, I've been fortunate there. So um, during the off season you decided to take some time off to protect against that. Well here we go. And try to protect against all those innings you used. Um, do, you, do you feel like now you're throwing the best you've thrown all year? Yeah I think so. I think these last two is the, the best I felt the uh, most in line and um, you know uh, just continue to try to keep that up the rest of the season. Jake congratulations on your recent success and continued uh, success to you. All right. Thank you guys. Right, thanks for joining us Jake. Thank you. Three double plays for Chad Green in the first three innings and the Yankees have a 6 3 lead.